When browsing the web, you see all kinds of animations happening nowadays. And sometimes you see an animation and think by yourself, wow, I want to recreate that one. And that's what I had with this text reveal animation. And I tried to recreate it using Bricksforge. So I went on a journey and tried out some things and experimented in Bricksforge to get the text reveal animation inside Bricks. And it looks like this. So I'm pretty pleased with the results. And, and now I will teach you how you can make this as well. So let's get to it. So here we see the stagger effect active and happening on a WordPress website using Bricksforge. And you don't need Webflow for this. So that's a very good thing. Uh, you do need bricks and you need a bricks forge license if you don't have it there will be links down in the description below so let's get into our plugins i have our i have bricks forge installed and here i have bricks installed so let's get to a new page and let's get starting with building uh, we give it a name like stagger effect and hit edit with bricks and we can add a section and we'll add a heading and let's put a heading in the section. The section could get a view height of 100. Let's see, VH. So it will be the full height of the uh, of the page. Uh, the heading can go into the container, and the container should be aligned in the center, so we can change the layout as well to be in center and also center, and have that on the cross axis. That's fine. And in here we put a very big text. Let's copy and paste that one in and uh, let's change the height of the typography on site like um, by fuel width. So it is a nice big font and then we can add some spacing in between by pressing shift enter. So it will be on the next line and there we have it. Uh, then we change our font thickness to 900 like how this looks. You can change it any way you like to and so don't overthink it think it too much and have this on 1 em so there we have our heading and now we open our bricks forge panel and you do that by pressing so when you open up your bricks forge panel you go to timelines and you create your first timeline in here there's already a new one active and if it isn't you can press the yellow plus button to create a new timeline let's call this uh, letters reveal animation and it should be done on page load because this is for the hero section you can also do scroll trigger if you'd like to but we're going to use uh, on page load and animations we're going to add in the trigger selector i want to use a attribute called letters reveal animation we can add that in our bricks as well let's move this a little bit down and here we have attributes we add another attribute and we give it the letters reveal animation so every time you use this uh, as an attribute it will add uh, add it to it and it will add the animation as well the advantage of this over using classes is that you still have freedom of styling and you can just use this for animations which is very helpful if you ask me and then we press the plus icon here and here we have the selector to animate is still this one so use this trigger and we want to animate from translate 100 percent and what, what this does 100 percent of the height it will move down now it moves the whole box down but we want this to be the letters so what we do is scroll all the way down here you have you split text enable that one and in here you press characters or chars and you select stagger effects so it will reveal everything one by one so if we hit run here you already see the animation happening but it's a little bit too slow for my taste so what i do is I change the duration it should be quite fast because people don't have patience to wait for every animations to uh to be seen i want a little bit of delay and uh, I don't want it to be repeated. I also like animation when it stops that it is it's more easing. It's 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 like it's landing. And so we add a little power out animation. As you can see, it looks a little bit different now. We can also choose any other easing. So pick one you like on how it looks. I used this one for the example. 
Now it's still too slow for my taste, so what we can do is add a even smaller stagger effect. And the stagger means when every letter comes in one by one, how much time should there be uh, between each letter. And I think this is uh, pretty nice. If we run it, it looks already a little bit better. And we can, uh, you can play around with the timing if you'd like to. Now, if we hit save, if save in bricks as well, and view on the front, and you see that this is the animation we're, we're having right now. But what you also notice is that it is revealed. So it's not hidden at first. We need to add a little bit of CSS for that one. And the CSS can be found in the description down below. And you can just paste it in. It is a class of split bricks forge split words. And what you will see when you inspect the uh, your website, you will see that every word has been split in words and within there, there are letters. And we, what do we want to do is change the words because the letters should be removed first and then added later on, but the words are still, so they won't move, they won't animate. So we will, will give them a overflow of hidden, which means that it doesn't show the letters when it's moved down 100% of its height. I also would like to add a little bit of negative margin um, at the bottom to add a little bit of uh, spacing and I want the transformation to happen on the bottom of the uh, of the word and if we save this now and refresh the page there's our dagger like refill animation as you can see it's coming in nicely although the animation already looks a little bit better I like to spice it up a little bit uh, luckily WP Tuts has a video on how you can add an easy gradient to your website. So let's do that now to spice up the website a little bit more. And if you would like to see his tutorial, you can find a link in the top corner or in the description down below. So let's add the gradient now. So we go to the website he mentions. Uh, you can hit generate to generate different kind of gradients. And if you see a gradient you like, you go to export, hit copy, and go to your bricks page, select your section, and inside of your section, you go to CSS and paste in your uh, CSS. Then you need to find your CSS selector here, and we type in percentage root percentage, and there we have our gradient in there, and it should be an animated gradient as well. And if we look now, this just looks amazing and much better than it used to. So thank you for watching. If you like this kind of animations, leave a like so I know I need to work with Bricks Forge more and subscribe to the channel so you won't be ever missing out on new videos I will be creating. So thank you for watching and keep designing.